Okay, question and answer time for tonight, and who does have a question for me? Yep, Nick. Uh, some people talk about edgy material. Uh, what does that mean when they're talking about edgy? Edgy material, yeah, that's one of those phrases that gets tossed around a lot. It, it kind of, I don't think that there is an exact meaning to it in, in the general, you know, community of comedy. Uh, it usually, for a lot of people, it meant cussing, but that was edgy back when George Carlin and, and uh, Lenny Bruce were coming up, because then they were saying things that other people weren't. Uh, and, and, so, and that's kind of lost its power now. I mean, if just cussing and talking about things that are inappropriate uh, is edgy, uh, it's easy to be edgy, and I don't think that's what it is. So. Here's my definition, just so that there's kind of a place for all of you to, to think about it. Uh, for me, there's, there's, uh, there's two areas we're kind of dealing with when you're performing, okay? There's comedy, which is what we're after, and then there's a line, and then drama. Everybody follow? Okay? Comedy and drama. And in the middle, right here, is what I call the hurt line, okay? Now, whenever you cross over from... Uh, comedy and go across over that line in, 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 in some true hurt because comedy does not deal with the true, the real consequences of hurtful things. It always reframes them into something else that we can laugh at. But when for a particular audience you cross that line, you cross over and, so, and there's some hurt the audience perceives, you're now into drama and that's not why they're, they're one of the reasons they're not laughing is you're actually entered the zone of drama for some very specific reasons. Now, here's where it gets interesting. That hurt line moves. <laughs> some audiences will, you know, you can go deep into that hurt line with a kind of hurt, that drama area, right? And they'll go along with you. I mean, Anthony Jeselnik's audience and stuff, he drops that line, he pushes that line really uh, far into the, uh, very close to the drama, uh, you know, almost a drama and keeps it going. And for some people, it does turn into drama. They go, oh, I don't think that's funny. Okay? And uh, that's a choice Anthony makes. He knows, you know, that, that some people are going to go with him, some of them won't. But you all need to learn to make that distinction because, you know, they're always, I don't want to offend anybody. If you don't want to offend anybody, get out of comedy. <laughs> Every joke is going to offend somebody. Okay, so that means you can't do any material at all. So back to the hurt line, the hurt line right here. Okay, okay, so to me, when you're working with a subject matter, a topic, a premise, whatever it is you want to say, that rides right at that line, right on the edge of comedy that so easily could just fall over into drama, that, to me, is edgy. Because you're right on the edge. The pain is almost visceral. The pain that the person is dealing with, but they've got to handle it really well. You know, Anthony Jeselnik's whole bit uh, uh, about uh, uh, dropping a baby. <laughs> That's edgy. Because <laughs> that, for some people, that crosses over that line. For me, I thought it was absolutely hilarious. <laughs> So I, I laughed really hard at that whole piece. But for me, it, so that's my definition of edgy. If you're, you're right on that line, right on that line of drama, but you're still able to keep it in comedy, that's edgy because it's right on the edge of drama.